the new season is about to drop in three minutes so before the video starts before i give you the best things in the damn game like the video subscribe if you're new don't forget the notice turn them on and leave a little comment below if you're excited for season two but i'm one of the best guards on this game like look at me dribble <laughs> Ah, but watch the whole video because we're going to go through all the new six. I have a 6-9, I have a 6-1 so we can look at every single drill move in the game. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you which ones are the best six in the game, old or new. Bro, it's like new years. 5, 4, 3, oh, Fucking shit ass game. Alright, season 2, baby. I wonder if they changed the parks or anything. Bro, look at this whole fucking world just walked out of this damn train station. What the fuck? Okay, deep books on it. We already saw the legend prize. If you guys don't know what it is, oh my, wait, the, the event is fixed. Oh my God. It is a Jabberwocky's uh, mascot. That's just kind of fire. I can't lie. Coolie, I'm just going to, I'm just going to scroll through this bitch because I can't lie. I don't knock it. Ooh, ooh the, <laughs> the mask kind of go hard though. Anything, the gloves kind of go, the gloves are kind of tough. Some ugly ass pants. Yeah, I can't wait to not wear them. Thanks. Thanks, 2K. The skeleton mascot is back and it's only at level 30. I ain't going to lie, that gold one. Yo. The gold one is me that I'm getting that bitch. I don't give a fuck. Mountain Jew jersey. Like, what is that? Authentic NB. Like, what is this? Some ass. But we saw this. The Jabberwocky's mascot actually has three versions, all right? One white, one red, one black. I don't know why it doesn't show the white one. That's kind of weird. That's a W season rewards. Low key. W season rewards. Hey, you clicked on this video for the fucking animation. Quickly, though, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go to the store and see what's up. So a lot of you guys are probably just gonna skip to the end to see the six. I'll show you the best six for builds that are like taller, six, seven, eight, and nine. You feel me? But I'll also show you the best six for all the shorter builds, the six fours and unders you feel me but i go through all the new sigs okay so if you want to see specifically what they look like how they work use the time sense to skip through and there's a new size of skate that came out this season okay it is fucking glitchy my six nines you're gonna want to see it new jump shots like hang on like, no one uses jump shots we use customs you feel me dunks as well like does this even matter new clay top like new devon booker dunk like are we using that shit Oh, they added new fades as well. New fades. Wait, wait, wait. Kyrie Irving pull up. Is that even good? I'll buy it. We'll test it. So shit, I'm gonna test every new animation just cause, all right? I'm gonna put y'all on. This is better be for six and for fucking step backs and shit. Let me find out. Should we go to six? I will right, we'll go to six. Dribble style. Magic Johnson. I'm not gonna lie to you. We'll buy it, but I'm pretty confident MJ's the best one. I've went through all the six in the game already, but I'm pretty sure MJ is clear on the dribble style. Baron Davis, BD. Big BD. Hey, this was low-key decent last year. I remember that. Any moving crossovers? Okay, Jason Williams. Okay, let me find out. Bro, there is a lot of new sigs. They added one for each category, I think. Kawhi didn't Kawhi have a good mind of back? Or? Never mind. That looks like ads. We'll buy it, though. Moving spin. Cat, like, cat has a movie spin. Like, are we good now? Oh, there's so many. Wait, wait. There's so many size ups. I missed some. Okay. Rihanna Stewart, like, brother. Like, who are these people? CJ McCallum? Okay. These might be tough. Look at these sides ups. We'll see. We'll find out, though. We bought all the new ones that we can on my 6 1. We're going to try out each dribble move one by one, alright? Well, I'm going to do it at least. I might just skip it in the video. We're going to do the dribble style first. Magic Johnson. I'm going to take off the dribble. Pull up to it. We'll put on Kyrie. In a post fade. We'll test those. Alright, let's see this dribble style. I'm pretty sure it's going to be at. Like, look at this. What the fuck? MJ, you fucking. Oh my god, bro. No wonder you got fucking eight. I'm going to try and fade. Let's see what the fade looks like. Oh, the Kyrie fade is not it. The Kyrie fade is not nice. I'm sorry. Oh, I mean, that looks okay. That looked okay. Yeah, nah, this this Kyrie fade is chopped. Do not use the Kyrie fade. Post Malone. Post fade. Ah, it makes no fucking space. Do not use the fucking post fade either. This shit is ass. The fuck? All right, we're going to try out all the new size up. Bro, the size up is a very important sig, okay? So, like... If there's a new if there's a new good one, I can't lie, bro. It might hey, it might be game changing. If you don't know, your six size up is basically your standing combo. Like when you stand still and you flick your stick, that's the drill move you do. I mean, it's not bad. It's just just not as it's not, not it's not that good either. There are so many more better ones in this game. I know three off the top of my head that I'd rather use over BD right now. This is what it looks like. Like, look at this shit. It's just it's just slow. Like you can't really like spam it either. Like, there's no reason to use this. This CJ McCollum one is low-key decent. Have a look. It's okay. It's not the greatest. It's kind of slow. That's the thing as well. It's just not that good. Some of these six, though, if you can get them at the six, nine height, they might be decent. Brianna Stewart, I can't lie. This shit is chopped. This shit is ass as well. Why is this so fucking slow? Why does he look so fucking goofy? Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Like, why is he like, why is he get stiff like my cut? Like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Like, Bend down, bend your fucking knees when you dribble the ball, bro. Rihanna still needs to seek some help. At right, the rest of the six, I'm gonna try on all at once, cause fuck, cause these don't really interfere with like you know what I mean. They don't really cross over. The size up is good though. If this KD one is good, it might be game changing. I can't lie. That's Loki the most like important sig out of all your drummers. Yo, 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 hold the fucking fuck. Yo, KD is kind of smooth. Look at this crap. It's not that bad. The crab isn't that bad. Oh, the behind the back is chopped. Though. Ugh, look at the behind. 
Look at the mist already. That shit is horrible. This size of a skate though. Hey, if you're a taller, I think you're going to be able to use this on like a 6'9". If you have a 6'9", this could be OP as fuck. Because look at that. I'm going to show you what this KD size of a skate looks like on a 6'9 real quick. Look at it. Oh my god. This could be glitchy. Like, look at this. Like, why is it so fucking fast? I'm 6'9 as well. You got to think about that. I'm 6'9. And I can dribble like this. Like, what the fuck? Like, it, am I not on steroids? If you're taller than 6'5, I definitely recommend trying this out. Like, oh my god. Like, you can really combo like you're a small guard. That step back is low-key glitchy too because you can speed boost out of it. It's not as glitchy as the AR one, but it's a lot faster. You got to think about it. It's a lot fucking faster. The only thing that's kind of bad on this is Loki the misdirect behind the back, like this one right here, this animation is a little bit slow, but it gives you a lot of space, Loki. But you can Loki do this one instead, like, ah, ah. Like, look at that. It, this is just as good, and you just speed boost out of it. I had no stamina there, so obviously it was a shit speed boost, but look, let me show you when I have some stamp. Like, look, pop. Oh my god, he just looks like a regular crossover, low key. He's kind of tough. Ah, uh, the moving crossover, no one really uses this move anyway, so like, it don't really matter, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Oh, it's kind of subtle. He kind of just throws it out there. Can you see it? He kind of just, ah, it looks, he doesn't really do a crossover. Ooh. If you didn't know too, the moving crossover actually affects your step back too. So this one doesn't seem that bad. It seems pretty good, to be honest. And the spin back, respectfully, I'm not gonna lie, every 2k since like 20, the spin back is, yeah, nah, the spin back is ass. You can't do the glitchy spin back, so there's no point in using it. Basic one is literally clear. Oh, we didn't try the behind the back. That's my fault, but hey, respectfully, this shit's ass anyway. Look at that. Look at the Kawhi Leonard behind the back. It just doesn't look that good. All right, we load up the 6 1 again. I'm going to tell you which 6 you should be using if you're 6 4 or under, okay? Or which ones you should even try out. MJ Dribble Style, that stays exactly the same. Signature size up. This is the one I use. The Francis is the glitchiest one in the game, the fastest one in the game. But obviously, you're a fucking short guard. You can use a lot of size ups, okay? Once again, Kobe is a really good one that you could use. Garland is very fucking good too. And the last one, is Trey Young. Trey Young is the one I started off with this year. I definitely still recommend this one if you don't know how to use Steve Francis. I think Steve Francis. Francis is the best one and then probably Trey Young next and then Garland is low-key a mix of both but just not as good so if you want to try Garland it's kind of glitchy too and then Kobe is kind of like if you do one move and go Kobe is the one you should use but Steve Francis is the one I use size up escape okay like I said this KD one could be underrated but me personally I'm kind of stuck with the general I like the glitchy misdirect behind the back that's the one I use if you're like a 6'7", and you have that like 90 ball honey, and you want that big LeBron step back, but LeBron's ass, obviously, I recommend using Damian Lillard or Kyrie, okay? 6'9s can't get these, only like 6'7 and under, I think. You need 90 ball control, so Kyrie and Damian Lillard are two under razor size up escapes if you want the big hop back. Like I said before, though, moving cross, moving behind the back, I use this on my 6'1 and my 6'9. Same with the spin, same with the hezzy, okay? These are all exactly the same. These are the best ones in the game. There's no point switching. Our moving step back is the only difference. I use normal. I like doing the ass to slide when I come down the court. Kind of like throws the ball out just there. He just did it. I might wait for it just to do it again. He does it right there. He throws the ball out. It's kind of glitchy. It lets you slide across the court, glide across. But if you do want that glitchy step back, hezzy kind of thing, look at Doncic's real move. I think it's the next one right here. That one. Like he kind of steps back. It's like a hezzy on It's glitchy. But yeah, man, those were the best things in the game. All right. I'm a fucking valid source. I'm one of the best guards in this game. I can dribble, you feel me? And I have almost every build. I have a 6'9. I have a 6-1. I'm, I'm about to make a 6-3. And I look you want to make a 6-7 and a 6-4 hella soon. But that's it for the video, man. If you're new, subscribe. Turn on the notice, like I said before. Like the video. But that's it from me. I'm out in a bit. Peace.